Does human life have any purpose? Is there any reason for it, anything that might define success in living? What does it mean to improve human life? Historical searches for the meaning of life have largely gone negative, finding no consistent purpose to it. Performance thinking is immediately suspicious of even the approach being taken, the attempt to find purpose for the isolated human being. We exist in a veritable sea of associations, all the way from family to humanity as a whole. Looking at an individual in isolation is self-limiting the study. We, as human civilization, do have an organizational purpose, a purpose that provides positive and indeed directive answers. We do have a definition for improved human operation of human civilization which further defines improvement for its many parts. Corporate entities always get their purpose from corporate owners, and people are the ultimate owners of civilization and of everything that is owned within it. The purpose of corporate humanity is the purpose of people as a corporate body. We have already worked with universal human values, and three of these are family, personal freedom, and personal prosperity. Serving these defines the purpose for civilization. To use this knowledge, we need performance engineering, which is an expertise in bringing resources together to gain a valued result. And this indicates a need to specifically define success for our civilization level efforts. We cannot find some measure for support of family or personal freedom or prosperity that satisfies this need. Instead of measuring them directly, we can take relative measures. We do have the ability to tell when there is an increase in support for the human family or increase in our personal freedom and prosperity. Increasing these will define a successful change in human civilization. For you, the teenage student, it defines a second level of success in education where education is specific to supporting your growth into an effective adult, there is also the longer-term effort to support your potential efforts at increasing that educational effect. Bringing this down to specific definition, educational improvement is assuring your children will be more effectively supported through their education than you are in your passage through your teen years. You will note that this is not just a personal success, but a success for humanity as a whole. It is every bit as important to your parents as it will be to you as an adult. They too have value in assuring that you receive an improved education, one that is better than what the ape passed through in their teen years. Of course, this all seems too far away, too far into the future to demand any of your present time and attention. How, after all, are you supposed to invest anything today that will impact your future generations? The answer is the same answer to all those things that would isolate you, making you less effective. The answer is that you are never truly alone, and most especially not in the educational setting. You are just the active learner in an educational team that includes your family as a source of educational purpose. Family leaders are that part of civilization that is most centered on your individual progress toward becoming an effective adult. Education also includes your teachers as the current experts in the techniques and processes of education. There are past generations involved, people who are intimately concerned with your success in becoming an effective adult. They are the ones who will see if you are better educated than they were. You have their vision as at least a partial guide in saying to the success or failure of the educational process that you are experiencing. You are part of a team, part of a gathering that has a single purpose and sense of value in your becoming an effective adult member of society. This is where you can tap into that larger sense of benefit, knowing that you too, in turn, will be addressing the same issue when you have teenage children. I hope that this is ever a comfort to you, that you are not alone. In your preteen education, you are not even given the option of being alone. You are made part of an educational team in saying to the parental purpose and being subject to the exercise of educators. As a teen, 
the decision on how you interact with parents and teachers in your educational environment are increasingly placed into your hands. This is not something that you can decide to address today, especially as a teenage human. You are in learning mode, not being able to redirect large groups of people to new or changed efforts. That is for the future, for when you are an effective adult. It is then that you can address the larger issues associated with improving civilization for your children. As in so much else in education, your teenage years are a time of preparation more than a time of action.